Are you looking for a brand new home in the state of Florida and you want a home under 300,000? What's possible? Well, I wanna talk about what's possible in the state of Florida, but first off, let me introduce myself. My name is Troy Funk and it's Funk, F-U-N-K, Funk. I'm a licensed real estate broker in the state of Florida. I've been in real estate about 40 years now and I'm actually the broker of Realty One Group Skyline on the central west coast of Florida. My office is in downtown Sarasota, and as such, we cover the entire state of Florida. We have sales all over the state of Florida. As real estate has become more of an internet business, and we have so many buyers coming into the state of Florida, and not everyone wants Sarasota because Sarasota is a very pricey market. It's a beautiful area, and not everyone can afford Sarasota, but as such, we look at what else is possible outside of our market, and I'm right now in Lakeland, Florida. Now, why Lakeland? Now, when we look at new construction and you want to say, I wanna stay under 300, Lakeland can work. It can work right now. Now, the market's always changing, so uh, ebb and flow, but right now in this history point, I can find you a brand new home in Lakeland for under 300,000. Now, that's a home that has its own lot. It is not attached to another home. It's a two car garage, three, four bedroom house and move in ready. So ideally that's a good opportunity for value. Now what determines value in Florida as far as prices? Now that's the big issue because a lot of people want certain things and it's not real, it's not honest. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, or at least not right now. And they think, well, all the market's gonna crash and it's, it'll be affordable again. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on that one. I mean, I know people that bet, have betted on that and lost. So if you're in the market to buy a home now, what does 300,000 buy you today? Well, 300,000 buys you a, a new home in Lakeland. Now, Lakeland's a nice area, it's a rural area. Lakeland is about an hour radius from Tampa, an hour radius, to Orlando. So if you're looking for employment or you're looking for an area for a new home, moving to Florida and say, I, I also need an area that's close to work or has uh, work opportunities, this is it. Now this could be a good fit. And when we look at values in Florida, it gets down to quality of life. A uh, big issue is the, the better the quality of life, the more it's gonna cost. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? Well. Let's just say you want to live by the beach or you want a beach community. When you look at Florida, the entire perimeter of Florida, anything close to the beach, on the beach, near the beach is normally at a premium. The most expensive real estate in Florida is typically uh, on a beach or right near a beach. And as such, if you're looking to get a, good, a better value, you're gonna need to stay away from the beach. Now you might wanna live near the beach, but it's, it's a matter of, how close can you live to the beach for your price point? So that gets us again to opportunity. Now, if you're looking for a new home and 300 is your mark, Lakeland could be a good starting point. Is it possible that the price can go down? Yes, it is. And there's areas such as Ocala, north of Florida. So where we are right now, if you were to go north, north o in the Ocala area, same house here in Lakeland is less expensive in Ocala. So what's wrong with Ocala? In fact, nothing's wrong with Ocala. Ocala is a beautiful area, but Ocala is a rural area as well. So it, it, it gets away from the lifestyle of being close to the beach, close to an abundance of shops and restaurants and, and things that may be attractive. If you're looking to Florida, you may want more of a lifestyle, but Ocala is a good opportunity, price points down, quite a bit, price points quite a bit less. So with that, I'm gonna walk you into a $300,000 home here in Lakeland, and then just know what's possible. Or it's a matter of making compromises, such as, let's just say you want something closer to the beach at that 300 price point. Well, that means that you're not gonna get a new house. You're gonna get an older home and that may be okay. So I'm walking into the Hartford model by Lennar Homes. And you, you'll see as soon as you walk in, the house is light and bright and focuses you at the towards the back of the house, which is a big open space. The ceilings are high. And what's real nice is all the wet areas of the home, the main areas, the, the bathrooms, the kitchen, the areas that are gonna get the most traction all have tile. Now this tile is a standard feature of the home. It is not an upgrade. It comes with the house, 
the builder does select the colors. So ideally, the coloring is either kind of a light tan or maybe a light gray, and the builder does pre-select colors. So when you pick out a home, the builder tells you what the color scheme is like for, for the particular house that you like. But this model is a popular model. As soon as you come into the house, off to the right are three bedrooms. And this is a ideal because up, up to the front, you have a front bedroom with a big window and of course a closet. And every room has a ceiling fan, which is a standard feature. It also has recessed lighting. The bathroom here also has hard surface countertop and the bathtub that has tile. Now, that's kind of interesting to note because when you look at uh, another model that's also similar to this by another builder, it is the Cali model by D.R. Horton. Now, D.R. Horton builds another a house that's similar to this floor plan and that's their Cali. Their three bedrooms are, are configured a little bit differently because one is off to the left. You have two bedrooms here and there's also a lanai space, but it's, it's comparable in square feet, price point, and something that if you're looking at this price point, you're gonna probably see these two homes. Now, this second bedroom is off here. Again, standard ceiling fan. Third bedroom. Every bedroom has a closet and you'll note the tile is just in the main areas the bedrooms have carpet walking through throughout the house you'll see that this is the showpiece back here big light and bright open space recessed lighting cabinets hard surface now, when the builder builds they have two choices it's either white or it's an espresso cabinet and with Lennar, you get handles, and which is a nice feature. And another nice thing, or something that's common with Lennar, is the sill plates are all marble sill plates. Not so much with DR Horton. DR Horton has different levels of uh, finishes, but typically I've not seen their homes have sill plates. They don't offer ceiling fans. The uh, cabinets don't have handles. So it's just, those are minors, but it's just something to look at when you're looking at other model homes. This is a big open light and bright space with the sign glass door, with a little patio that goes to your backyard. And back towards the house is your owner's suite. Now this is a nice size room and you can see that just by the size of the furniture. This looks like a king bed two large side pieces, a big chair, a big dresser, and everything fits here very comfortably. So this space is very nice with that back window that looks onto your own backyard, gives you a lot of space. The owner's suite bathroom is also big, light, and bright. And again, we're going into the wet area, so the tile is standard here, solid surface cabinets, dual vanity, big mirror, recessed lighting. This is your walk-in closet and it's a big closet at that. You can see how much space you have in here. So this is ideal. And then back to your wet areas, it's tile and a water closet off to the right. So this is a very comfortable space. Very nice home, a uh, lot of benefits, a lot of upgrades. This is their, pretty much their base opportunity this is what you can get at an entry level price point with Lennar. Very nice home for the money, a lot of nice features to it. And as I mentioned, there's also other builders that build homes similar to this that have little different uh, nuances with that. And as we finish our tour of the home, off to the right is a laundry room and the washer and dryer are standard features with this particular home. And again, these things can change. So you have, to, you have to look at it case by case, but Lennar does a great job. Interior laundry room, doorway, goes out to a two car garage, which on the model home, of course, is the sales center. Overall, a great house for the value. I hope that's helpful in showing you what $300,000 can get you in Lakeland, Florida. 
Now, ideally, if you don't wanna live in Lakeland, the further you get away from Lakeland, closer to the beach, to a city, the same house, same model goes up. Now, an example was the house that I showed you was a Lennar model. There's a model similar to this with DR Horton. It's called the Cali. The Cali is a popular floor plan, very similar to this model. And the Cali is built by DR Horton all over the state of Florida, but the price is very different. For example, that home 20 minutes away from here, uh, there's about an $80,000 difference. Now, what do you get for $80,000 more? Uh, you get the same house, but you get it closer to Tampa. It's closer to the beach. Now, again, the closer you are to the water, the, the same house is gonna go for more. So if you're not sure where you wanna live, one thing I would suggest is to check out my website, troyfunk.com, my name, and look into new homes because on my site, I give a preview of what's possible all over the state of Florida. You can look at new homes throughout the state and get an idea what new homes are selling for in certain locations throughout the state of Florida. I started with Lakeland today because it's a good entry level price point. 300 is about baseline for Florida. As I said, yes, you can still get less than 300, a little bit less if you go to Ocala. Central Florida is gonna be your best value for uh, the house. If you want the, you know, if, you, if, that's, if there's a certain number you're looking for, you're gonna get more house for your money. However, you compromise lifestyle. <laughs> And that might be a big thing if you're looking for school districts, if you're looking for employment, if you're looking for retirement, there, those might be non-negotiable things. So again, uh, this is possible throughout the whole state of Florida. You can, shop, you can shop online, look at my website, look at new homes all over. And again, if you are looking for a new home, I wanna represent you. I wanna help you with that purchase. Now, uh, as a buyer, a lot of times a buyer thinks, well, I'm gonna save a lot of money if I work with the builder direct. Not necessarily. Understand the builder works for the builder. The salesperson works for the, for the builder. So therefore, as a buyer, you don't have a fiduciary person helping you in that process where as a broker, I could show you houses all over the state of Florida, help you negotiate, find out what's possible with incentives, with other builders, and just find the best possible value in the state of Florida. So I hope I've been helpful to you. And if I have, hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And if you have your real estate license and you're looking to sell real estate, as I said, I'm the broker of Realty One Group Skyline on the central west coast of Florida. The sky is your limit on what you can make in real estate sales. And we're always looking for uh, real estate agents that want to join our company and help uh, all the buyers coming to our state. So again, I'm gonna leave that information below. I hope I've been helpful to you. And I look forward to having you join me on my next video.